Hi everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm just here today at uh, Wat Tyler Country Park. Um, weather conditions are not really favourable for landscape photography today. Uh, very dull, overcast and a bit drizzly as well. So what I've decided to do is um, come into the undergrowth, into the woods here, um, and see if I can get some different compositions that could possibly use for a bit of a longer exposure, possibly a black and white as well. And uh, hopefully with a few uh, a few more metres down the path, we'll uh, get our first competition. Hopefully it'll be a good day. Okay, so I've just set myself up here now with the path leading through the image, this nice arching branch of the uh, tree tree there, and um, got myself on my wide set, uh, lens that I've got at 16mm, ISO 100 and f11. I've had to decrease the exposure by two thirds just so we can control the top part of the image because obviously the conditions today with it's quite cloudy, um, obviously it's brightening up that side of the image and obviously blowing it out too much so I want to obviously keep those details in as much as possible. So set up and level, let's take the image. So I've just got myself set up here, looking at these uh, bluebells in the grass here. It's got the um, longer lens um, 70 to 300 on with the, uh, the switch over to the macro setting, just so that can uh, obviously give me um, a closer focal point, keeping that uh, aperture as wide as possible to give that blurred background. ISO may have to increase it a little bit because obviously the windy conditions, so I can obviously freeze it and make sure that it's a, um, as sharp as possible. Hopefully it'll work out all right. Okay, so I just got myself set up here. Um, there's a sort of one of the novelty railway lines here at Watt Tyler Park, which is uh, fantastic in the summer. So if you're local, please come along. And I'm sure they will enjoy you coming along here. But uh, luckily enough today, I did check. It is closed, so obviously not trespassing on the track. But using the track lines here to just go through the ton of the trees, as you can see in the distance, and it's creating a great leading line through the actual image. So I'm zoomed in um, on my kit lens at 55mm. Uh, F11 again, ISO 100, and obviously uh, shooting in aperture priority mode just so we can obviously calculate the shutter speed from there as well. Again, obviously bringing the exposure down by two thirds as well, just so obviously you can control it and keep obviously that uh, obviously um, detail in the, uh, in, in the shadows as well and in the highlights.
Okay, so I made it down to the creek now. Um, set myself up with my long lens on this time, approximately 70 mil. Looking down the creek at the boats and the boatyard, um, trying to use the long lens to cut out all of the background, all, all of the extra information in the sky. As I said several times, it's very bland today, not obviously great. Wind is blowing up quite a bit now, so apologies if you hear any wind uh, interference on the mic. But uh, as I say, using the curve of the river as, as it comes around here, focusing on the boats and the crane as well in the far ground, I'm not sure if you could probably see that. But again, settings um, F11, ISO 100, and again shooting aperture priority, just so it can calculate the shutter speed. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog at uh, Wat Tyler Country Park today um, with the challenging conditions and the grey skies and the extra wind as well. But uh, thanks for everyone that's subscribed already for, uh, and the comments that you've give, given feedback for. Uh, please, if you do like this video, consider subscribing and also please comment. And until next time, take care.